Wayne Madsen hit splendid 100 as Derbyshire turned the screw on day two. Derbyshire returned to the Fisher County ground for day two of their game with Leicestershire well on top against their East Midlands neighbours. Lewis Rees had led the way with both ball and bat, taking three wickets as the Foxes were bowled out for 199 and ending day one 50 not out, helping his side to 101 for one at stumps. And Derbyshire wasted little time as they chased down the Leicestershire first inning score. As Wayne Madsen showed, they were clearly prepared to take a few risks. But their luck was to run out, literally, as Reese and Madsen took on the arm of Dieter Klein. Bad idea. That was as good as it got for the home side in the morning session though, as Madsen and new batsman Lewis Duploy were deployed. Putting Leicestershire to the sword, the pair brought up the Derbyshire 150 in just 33 overs. With Madsen already having passed his half century, Duploy also reached his before the interval, launching Callum Parkinson over long run. With lunch looming, for both batsmen, so too was an even bigger milestone. After the break, Duploy and Madsen moved Derbyshire past the Foxes' total, but with the lead at just 12, there came a much needed breakthrough for Leicestershire. Duploy feathering one to Harry Swindles off the bowling of Dieter Klein, the South African gone for 55. Undeterred, Wayne Madsen pressed on to his century with a cracking on drive. He seemed very much in the groove, so it made his dismissal to Will Davis even harder to bear. Madsen out for 103. Derbyshire were still just four down with the lead already past 50, but Leicestershire still had time to bag another wicket before tea. Skipper Colin Ackerman outfoxing Matthew Critchley and into the hands of Swindles. Alex Hughes was joined by Harvey Hussain and between them they guided Derbyshire safely to tee with the score at 287 for five and the lead steadily expanding. Leicestershire enjoyed some brief respite when Hughes served up Ackerman with his second wicket. Rhodes taking the catch to leave Derbyshire on 311 for six though still in command. With time and wickets running out, Harvey Hussain tried to put his foot down. He and Anuj Dahl took Derbyshire to 350 before Dahl was wrapped on the pads by Klein, gone for a quick fire 25. Hussain continued to fire to all parts, dispatching Klein for six on his way to a 67 ball 50. He lost another partner when Ed Barnes nicked behind for four. Then number 10 Sam Connors had some fun, hitting three fours and bringing up the Derbyshire 400 before he was dismissed for 21. And Dustin Melton was last to go, LBW for a first ball duck. Derbyshire all out for 408. A swift end to the Derbyshire innings, but they can be pleased with their work. Wayne Madsen's century ably supported by 50s from Rees, Duploy and Hussein to give Derbyshire a lead of 209. With just one over left in the day's play, the Foxers sent out Callum Parkinson, who ensured his side would return for day three with all 10 wickets still intact.